Okay, so quick update video. Hi, Elsa. Um, I did this yesterday. I went ahead, I found a set of square taper, three piece bottom bracket, um, and the adapter because this, um, like Walmart bike uses this really wide, um, bottom bracket whole thing, except for a single piece crank set. So I took the single piece crank set off. I'll link a video in the description on how to take that off, that really good video. So go watch that one. And then um, I think I also found a video on how you install this. So I could link that one as well. But I pretty much, I had the adapter. If I didn't have the adapter, they're like 20 bucks. And then I had the square taper bottom bracket, which I think is around 15 and then the cranks I think are around um, I think they're like 25 um, I will link in the description um, ones that I used or ones that are really close to it because I did have these a couple years ago as you can see a little beat up already um, and then these are just some old pedals um, so I'll link these two if I can find them um, but these are like mountain bike, lightweight mountain bike pedals. Not really going uh, for the motorcycle theme, uh, but I think they look at least a little better <laughs> than those uh, cheap plastic pedals that I went ahead and just threw away. So, um, yeah, so that's all installed, greased up, cleaned, um, and I just knocked out the inside. They had the two little cups on the inside. They were a little bit of a pain to pop out. Uh, I normally use a wooden dowel and uh, put it, you know, in one side and pop out the opposing side, just lay it on the ground, put some wood here, uh, so you're not like bouncing off the, the tires or anything. And uh, yeah, I just shredded my dowel, which kind of sucked. So my husband actually had a piece of all thread, which was, it's basically a big gigantic screw or whatever. It's like an it's like that. I think it was like that big. It's like three-fourths diameter or something like that. So anyway, that was a little bit hard to knock out, but knocked it out and then put the adapter in. And it's not quite flush on this side. There's a little bit of a gap. So um, and maybe if I get a smaller Allen key, it's like a little three millimeter Allen key. Um, I have just a, a super long one, long T, and it was just uh, it wasn't able to put enough torque down, I think. So if I get a smaller Allen key, maybe I could push it in a little bit more. Um, but it's installed, and, you know, it was all good to go. I went around the block a couple times. Well, not around the block, but just in the neighborhood uh, cul-de-sac in front of my house. And it was running so smooth, and then all of a sudden it felt like someone put the back brakes on. But if you remember from the first video, there's no back brakes. So, um, sorry, my road bike's right there. I, you know, it's not in the stand over there because um, the back wheel locked up. So I just kind of sit it here. So sorry if it's a little confusing to look at. Ugh, this is leaning against all of our, our shelves. But um, yeah, so the back wheel locked up. And of course I'm thinking, oh shoot, you know, the hub died. No, I don't think it's the hub. I looked at it yesterday. But you can see it really doesn't, it doesn't move. <laughs> um, I think what's happening is the derailleur is just catching the chain and it's holding the chain. So I do have a new derailleur. I actually have it like right here. I found it. So, and this is a, uh, I believe it's called a direct mount. So it's, there's no hanger on this bike. It just directly mounts. So I did happen to have a seven speed Shimano Turi um, derailleur that's pretty much brand new. So I was gonna put it on yesterday, but I'm like, I don't wanna mess with, cause you have to break the chain and I don't wanna break the chain. The motor should be here soon. And I think when the motor comes, I'll break the chain. Um, cause I'll, I have to break the chain and probably resize it when I put the motor on. So I'm probably just gonna wait until, cause even though it sucks, not having a bike because I kind of like riding it around and I finally fixed the back wheel so I took it off and patched the tube 
But yeah, so that's pretty much the update. Um, did the bottom bracket. And also, you might have noticed I put uh, handle grips. We had some lock-on handle grips also. So I just put those on so, you know, it has some some grips. No end caps, but definitely not going to go with the orange. But the orange actually kind of looks cool with the green. Kind of cool. So anyway, so yeah. That's kind of an update. Just kind of put some grips on just because I had them. Pedals on because I had them. And these... Um, crank arms. <laughs> Brain just died. Uh, but yeah, the idea is that we might go to, I'm either going to buy new crank arms uh, for the square taper bottom bracket that's threaded here for a freewheel, or they're like $30, um, so I'll link those. Or I will be taking this to a machine shop and seeing if they could just cut cut this off and then thread this way. So if they charge me more than, like if they're gonna charge me more than $30, then I'll just buy the other ones. Um, if not, I'll have these threaded. So, but we're gonna have, that's probably gonna be the next thing after we get the motor in, is it going to have that be threaded? And I've ordered the other stuff, so, or some of the other stuff, I ordered the controller and the batteries. And I think I ordered pretty much everything but the battery socket thing because that's on a different website. Um, but you'll see that in a different video. This is just a, a quick update. Uh, thanks for watching. If you would like to follow this uh, e-bike build, uh, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!